Thank you for tuning in to Awakening with Katina Love, where we help you to expand your consciousness and become your best version. Please subscribe to our channel by clicking the red subscribe button. And remember to click that bell so that you are notified for every video that we upload. Today we have a special returning guest, Butterfly, uh, also known as Tracy Clark. She is a shaman, high priestess, Reiki master, and teacher. Her website is mariposasgardenbutterfly.com. Welcome back. Beautiful Hi. butterfly, how are you? I'm wonderful. Thank you for having me again. You are so <laughs> welcome. This is part three. We're talking about the part divine three. feminine. Yes. The divine feminine. And we're talking about on this podcast, we're going to talk about the power of the sacred yoni. Which yes. is something very powerful. The cosmic <laughs> womb, honey. The cosmic womb. The power of the yoni. The power of the pea. Whatever yes. you want to call it. <laughs> as, 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 uh, as Prince, the great prince says, pussy control. <laughs> pussy control, ladies. Pussy control. Control that pussy. Yes, <laughs> honey. <laughs> control it, girl. Control it. Control it, control it. Yes. There you go. So we're just, we was talk, we were talking about just the power of the essence um, of our sacred yoni mm -hmm. and, and the magic she holds, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Because what has happened to us as divine feminine, we, we stop honoring her. Mm -hmm. We stop honoring our sacred womb. We, we begin to violate her without even anyone else violating her. Mm -hmm. We violate our own wounds. And the way this, that is that because we don't honor the power of her, we don't honor her speaking to us. Um, and we talked earlier just about just not caring for her properly, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and the dis-ease that takes place with her. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I've really been talking to women about, um, the partners and when you come in tune with your womb you begin to really understand that that's my universe because that is where i create yes. and if i'm not creating life i'm creating because yes. i am a creator yeah and my sacred yoni and the power that is within her and the secrets that she holds mm -hmm. and when i'm able to tap deeper into her by not even allowing people that are not at the right vibration to feed her. <laughs> That's right. To nurture her properly. Yeah. To give her unconditional love. Yeah. Yeah. And to um, know what kind of energy is being dropped inside of her. And I always tell women that, and I, what I mean by that is the people you lay with. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Just the intimacy and who you are being intimate with. Yeah. And what is it that they're laying in your womb? Right. And understanding that that cosmic yoni holds all of that emotional energy. So whatever that individual being is holding, it's going inside of your sacred universe. That is you know? Amazing. Yeah. Because you know how some women, we, you can, even from having sex when you don't want to. Right. There, exactly. Like, why are you, you know doing what I'm that? Saying? Why are you doing that? Why are you that? doing that? Why are you allowing yeah. that energy in your womb? Right. And it's just simple things is that when you begin to really acknowledge the power of your womb mm -hmm. and understand that when you allow your partner, be it male or female, touch your womb and they and the intention is not of unconditional love right. and creation right. and, and, and beautiful intention, right. that whatever that energy is, it's going inside of you. Right. And then when you get up from that intimacy, some women are pissed off. You don't understand, like, how I just had sex and I'm mad. <laughs> <I know. laughs> like, I didn't want to do that. <laughs> I thought I was supposed to be happy. You're supposed to be feeling like Superwoman, and he, uh, and he or whatever you do, supposed to be feeling like Superman or Superwoman, okay, when you get up. Right. And it's because we have the false expectations mm -hmm. and the false perceptions of mm -hmm. what we think our womb is. Right. Right. Because some of us women walk around using our womb for a, a telemachine. Right. Right. 
You feel me? Or ATM. <laughs> or ATM. Or, or, yeah, that's what I mean. Or ATM. <laughs> or or a, uh, a mechanism of control. Right, right. And, that's the and then you wonder why you sick. And you wonder why you got yeast infections and fibroids and tumors and, right. and, and trauma and not even really experiencing the power and the magic of your sexual energy. Right. And using the magic of that. So... You know, when we really talk about the high consciousness of the womb mm -hmm. and understanding that she is a creator and she can hold an intention, just women doing it by themselves. And this is when I talk about the yoni work, right? The mm -hmm. yoni steam and the cleansing, the intimate time with your yoni. Yeah. Looking at your yoni in the mirror. Yeah. How I many women have looked at their yoni? Right. It's, it's so beautiful, isn't it? It's beautiful? so beautiful. She's a beautiful flower. And she's a beautiful flower, and there's so many flowers. I was just looking a few weeks ago, butterfly, yeah. online of all the all the beautiful flowers that that resemble the yoni. The it yoni, looks, it looks just the like fruit. Her. It looks just like it. It's so yeah, beautiful. it's just the, the, the fruit lily and flowers. And I was oh yeah, like, fruit and flowers. That's the sacred mother. I so, was so amazed. Isn't that beautiful? That's how beautiful we are. And when we hold ourselves sacred, like sacred flowers, or beautiful sweet fruit, like a honeydew, yeah. like melon, yeah. like nectarines, mm -hmm. like peaches, plums, yes. it's the shape of the yoni. It's the shape of the yoni. If you just Absolutely. Pay attention. Pay attention. Pay attention. Get in tune. So the same delicacy you have with that, or the same sweetness you like to eat that fruit that's the way you need to handle your wound honey yeah that's right take care of it you know right. same energy right. so and you don't you know, need a man you don't need no, a man you don't, you don't need the masculine energy to if do he's that. not if he's not in alignment with you but we have yeah. to get ourselves together before we even invite that energy into exactly. us exactly you and and I mean? how many women don't even know and, and, and don't even masturbate, break, don't even right. check so into her stuff. She doesn't even know how to look at her body and pleasure herself. You have to learn how to tap into your own self yeah. intimately to be able to express to your partner what you're wanting and what you're needing. Right. You know, to be able to create. We to have be to make to love. Have. We have to make love to ourselves first. Absolutely. Because when you understand, we invite yeah. somebody else because they ain't gonna know how to make love to you unless he's like in tuned, you know, right? But you, you with have to teach himself, them. himself you or in tune with herself, yeah, before they can be in tune with you, exactly. So they have to do that inner work, too, you know, because you don't want to invite somebody in who's not Absolutely. conscious, if they're right. not but, they're conscious, you're conscious, your vibration is it's not right. Gonna, it's going to be an imbalance and it's going to be friction and it's not, it's not going to be the pleasure. It's not going to be there because you're unequally yoked. Exactly. And the thing is, is that women are afraid to have the conversations by themselves, by themselves and with their partner and with their partner. Right. They are afraid to speak the up for their own womb from it's fear of being rejected. Right. Or is he going to leave me? Is he going to go somewhere else? Is he going to go somewhere else? Is, is, do, he, do he want me? And then you're watching, you know, assuming that you have to be a certain kind of way. And watching the Kardashians and whoever else. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and doing tricks shows. standing on your head, you know, and like that has nothing to do with nothing with, with, the, with the sweetness and the wetness and the gentleness and the power of your womb. And just when you're beginning to understand that and embrace her and speak her truth. And that is taking that time to teach your partner. No, I like being, you have to communicate the love language. I like being touched like this. I enjoy this. I like that. But if you don't know how to do that for yourself, right. And honor yourself, you won't honor your womb. Just like women just, um, afraid to tell a partner, you know, to still put on a condom or do whatever you do. Right. Still afraid to tell a man, I don't like that. That doesn't right. bring pleasure. Right. Um, I'm uncomfortable with that. Right. And actually right. be in right. pain in intimacy, sis. Actually be in pain. I understand. In and not stopping a man and say, hey, you know, right. I don't I'm like that. Hold up. Right. That's and not then, how you handle me. 
That's right. And then mm -hmm. another thing too is you have to make sure, look, I would, I'll tell a man in a minute, you, your hands have to be clean before you even touch yes. Wash Absolutely. your hands. Where have you been? You know, first of all, right. you need to shower. <laughs> Under me. First of all, you need to shower phone. first. And ask permission. Ask permission. You can't even ask permission. You this is my clean. thing. It's like I try. I tell if you know, men used to worship the young men because yes. they understand the power of her. See, right. this is the thing. When you really become in tune, and a man understands that when I put my sacred rod, when I put my rod of light in you, you are activating me. You are activating and aligning my chakras. You yes. are giving me the power to go out into this universe and do my work. Yeah. When those, when the, when you're in balance and in alignment with each other. It's so when he hard. goes into your sacred yoni, he understands that he's in the universe. That's what. That's why you have intention when you're making love because you're manifesting. So deep. when the woman begins to understand that she is the key to create. It, without the feminine, the manifestation don't happen. That's true. Right? No life is created. So when she it. understands her power that she holds within her womb and that I can make you Superman, baby. Oh, yeah. And when you come up out of my womb, everything you want is going to come forward. That's right. That's how we need to that's what, That's ourselves. Right. It's the same of the imbalance in the planet. The masculine did not respect the divine feminine power. He suppressed her. So now she's standing back. What's in the dark comes to the light. What's at the bottom comes to the top. That's the feminine rising so that we can create that level of balance and men can begin to respect the feminine power again. Right. They That's can why. begin to honor her. I in love. Every aspect. I love how that shift is taking place and you can yeah, feel it's it. Yeah, it's beautiful. You can it's see absolutely it. Absolutely beautiful. You can see it because there's so many people like you and I talking about it. And then Beyonce came out with that song. Yeah. Around the world. Yeah. <laughs> literally. Around the world, girls. You Lit the literally. Step we do. Power. Step into your Let power. me see your power. Yeah. <laughs> and, and the thing is, now we have to understand the balance of that because yeah. again, you still have feminine. Feminine women walking around saying, I'm powerful, I don't need you. Yeah, you do. Right. See, that's the imbalance. When we're talking about we don't need each other, I don't need no man, I don't need, we need each other. Right. We can and when women, begin, yeah, it's a balance. Yeah. And for you. us as women, we have lost our sweetness. We've lost the honey mm -hmm. because we're angry and we're so moving in our mask and trying to compete and trying to, you know, be a boss. Right. That right. when we understand that your yoni, your sweetness, your charisma, your sexuality makes you the boss. That's right. You know? Your confidence, your confidence in you. Your, your intuition yeah. with yourself, your love for yeah. you makes you the boss. Yeah. You are your boss, not you, other people's boss. You are your own no, boss. No, you are your <laughs> boss. In the in 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 the sweetness and the honey, your pheromones that come from the essence of you balance the energy. Mm -hmm. You see, you know, a man told me, mm -hmm. women don't know the power. Women don't know their power. Mm -hmm. Women don't know their power. A man don't do nothing. You don't let him. That's right. So we got to take the power back from the perception of that we allowed the divine masculine in his illness due to the feminine. Right. From having our ass out to having all our titties out to thinking we got to... And the music. Yeah. The inject our asses and our titties and our face and, and, discomb and, and, disc and, 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 and what's that? The injections. Augment ourselves. Surgery. Augment. The implants, the implants. Yeah. You're beautiful just to where you are. You don't need all that stuff. Right. People love you. And if people don't right. love you for who you are, they're not for you. They're not for you. They're not for you. They're not for you. And I tell women, don't get me wrong. It's nothing but beautifying yourself. Please right. do. And enhancing, enhancing yourself. Make yourself better. But Make do it for you, better. not for somebody else. <laughs> right. Don't, don't disfigure yourself. Right. Don't These do that. Sis, 
our sisters are de disfiguring themselves. I saw, I mean, the, some of the celebrities are unrecognizable. I'm not going to say any names. It's awful. So beautiful in the beginning. Yes. And Gorgeous. There was nothing wrong with them. Yeah. But the problem was, was that they were comparing themselves to other people. Beauty exactly. comes in so many sizes, so many shapes. Yeah. So many forms, so many colors. Right. You don't but have think to be a about certain this. color. But think about this. This is what I want women to understand. Mm -hmm. The illness of the masculine perception of the feminine mm -hmm. is what make women disfigure themselves. Wow. Say that again. This is, Say that this again. is the illness, the illness, the low vibrational illness of the masculine energy mm -hmm. and the perception of how they see the feminine made women disfigure themselves. It's imbalanced energy. It is. And then the other piece to that is we mess up as women and men too by seeing yeah. yourself through the eyes of another person. Through exactly. A, if, you, if someone doesn't see you through the eyes of God, Mm -hmm. then what they see does not count. Right. I see the At beauty all. in you. I see the beauty and I see the love and I see the God in you because mm -hmm. I'm looking through the eyes of source. That's right. So if people don't see you through, through the eyes of God and accept you for who you are, then right. that's misalignment. You don't need to be with that person. You shouldn't even, even desire to be with that person. But it mm -hmm. all comes down to self-love. When you love yourself, yeah. Self-love, self-worth. Self-love and self-worth is, is number one. Mm -hmm. And when you mm -hmm. love yourself, you will attract the right people who will love exactly and accept because you who you are. Why? Because you will begin to value self. Right. So you, it all begins with self. Them. All that extra stuff is not even important. It's a really an inside job because the people that does, you know, do, do all that plastic surgery and that enhancement, mm -hmm. they, a lot of them, they're not happy afterwards because they don't even they're out of touch with themselves they don't even know who they are they don't recognize themselves anymore right so and then it's like, it just depression it creates more problems and here comes depression yep and then yep. you know that's why a lot of that leads to suicide and yeah know? like who Mental am I? I did all this extra stuff i ain't did nothing on the inside right on the outside and i still mm -hmm. feel horrible who right. am i anyway they're not in right. touch they're not in tune with the self they're disconnected. If you're not in tune with yourself, which is being in tune with God, because mm -hmm. you are God as a spiritual exactly. being in a exactly. physical body, when you Absolutely. lose that disconnection, nothing's going to work. So Absolutely. it all comes down to, like mm -hmm. we were saying before, you have to go within and do mm -hmm. the inner work and love yourself. Find that mm -hmm. love within you first. That's Absolutely. Right. Absolutely, sister. Yeah. So that's the whole point of really tapping into awakening the divine feminine this is all about that it's all about, about that, that. and they can get that information through my you know tapping a little bit into that information with my ebook awakening the divine feminine it's a guidebook um for healing the mind body and spirit and just using different tools to begin to activate the the knowingness um right. and move into an awareness of that i that's something that i need to focus on you know, to, be, to get to the mastery of myself. And, and I suggest that, you know, any women looking at this video um, are seeking, that's a good place to start. It's a good information part, place to start. Um, and again, I have uh, rituals and daily practices, uh, anywhere from learning how to create your altar, create your sacred space, yeah. you know, doing daily rituals for yourself. Mm -hmm. um um tapping into um um the archetypes of the divine feminine just begin to educate yourself Absolutely. Um, and go on your journey and that's that is the awakening process that's a part of your awakening tapping mm -hmm. into your feminine absolutely yeah. and then if yeah. they want to work with you they just visit your website everything they need <laughs> they're looking for is right there absolutely absolutely everything's there and at mariposa's garden mm -hmm. Mariposa's, Mariposa's Garden, Garden Butterfly. Butterfly.com. Beautiful. Yeah. Well, thanks again for being a guest, uh, Butterfly Goddess. Thank you. I have so many yeah. names for you because you're all of that. Wisdom. Yes, I am. Beauty, <laughs> love, 
Sometimes I just refer to you as love. Oh, I love it. (laughs) I love it. So this has been awesome. Very enlightening. Thanks. Thanks for coming on again. Appreciate you. Yes. And I want to wish you happy birthday. And happy birthday to you. Two days after. Mine's July 17th. Yours the 19th. Yes, go Cancerians, Cancerians. That's for sure. That's for sure. Yes. All about love, light. And you know, we we have that energy about us because we're we're water, we're fluid. So, you know, we're we're naturally intuitive. Yes. And you know, I believe that we all of us Cancerians are here to help raise the vibration of the planet and to shift and to lead people into their greatness. And yeah. we are, we're the nurturers. That's why we're doing yeah, the, we are the nurturers. Yeah, we, we, are, the nurturers. we are the emotional holders. We Absolutely. Are. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So more to come. More Thanks. to come. Thanks for tuning in to The Awakening with Katina Love. Namaste. Namaste.